please welcome on stage Denise Lewis. Tell us some amazing memories there. Looking back, I mean, it must still be as fresh now as it was 12 years ago, surely. Well, I have to say, when I um, video, my heart rate does go up when that 800 meter race starts. Even though I know the outcome, I still kind of <laughs> get palpitations. But um, it was an incredible chapter in my life. And that piece of music that you heard, uh, Whitney Houston duetting with Mariah Carey, uh, I played that piece of music over and over and over that night before I was due to compete. Because the you know, Olympics gives you an opportunity to really put your dreams into, into practice, to really just take and seize the moment. And for me, it wasn't that I wanted to break any records, it was just I didn't want to let myself down. After all the years of hard work, I just wanted to seize the day. Done. So we've got a lot of time That's for you. That's what I did. Well, I mean, I think, you know, as you can say, we speak for all of us, it's an amazing achievement. And, and just give us a sense of what it's like when you stand on that podium, being an Olympic gold medalist, because it's something that probably none of us, well, hopefully a few of the kids at the front might get to experience, but. Certainly for most of us as adults, the time has passed. What was the overriding emotion? I think... Sorry. I think that's... Yes? No? Um, I think relief. Um, you're standing there, you know, there's such huge British support in Australia. Um, even the Aussies were quite happy for me. Uh, but I stood on the podium thinking, my goodness, I'm so glad. I pushed myself because I can see there's some teenagers in the room, there's some youngsters here. Sometimes you don't know what your future holds. It's quite scary, it's quite daunting, you just don't know whether you're going to ever make it. Um, and so standing there for me was like, my goodness, I'm glad I sacrificed going out with my mates sometimes um, and just committed to my sport and you just, you can do it. That's really what I was feeling at the time. That, my goodness, it was all worth it. And you, you touched on the sacrifices there, Denise. I mean, it's a phenomenal achievement itself, being good at one sport and competing at Olympic level, but to compete in seven and to still be Olympic champion is, is phenomenal. Where did it all start? I mean, where did you suddenly realise as a kid growing up, you know, you had this natural talent, and how, we, how did you get into competing in the heptathlon? Um... Well, I loved, I loved sport at school. Um, I was one of those kind of annoying kids that I just loved everything, no matter what it was. Um, but I guess my, my journey to heptathlon was being a really good club athlete. You know, I used to turn up on the Saturday mornings for my club, and my um, team manager at the time would say, Oh, Denise, someone didn't turn up for shot put, or someone didn't turn up for javelin. Can you fit in? Can you do a bit for us? And so I ended up doing a lot of events and realised I was quite good at it. And my coach said to me, well, why don't you do heptathlon? And I knew the event because I'd seen the likes of Daley Thompson growing up and I had uh, local heroes that did the event. Um, and I just decided, okay, what have we got to lose? Why don't I just try it, have a go and see what happens? And I, the rest is history. I, I didn't look back from there. So... <laughs> And Denise, let's fast forward to an amazing summer of sport. You're obviously, as I mentioned at the start, on our TV screens every night cheering from the rafters of all our successful Team GB athletes. What are your personal highlights and personal memories of London 2012? What are you going to take away most from an amazing period of sport? Well, I think the first thing for me is that um, the biggest question was can Britain deliver? Can Britain not let everyone down. 
and we did that in abundance. We were so fantastic from the transport, uh, the facilities, the stadia, they was, it was great. Um, we all know how wonderful our volunteers were. They were just amazing. But from a performance point of view, obviously Jess Ellis for me was a, a personal favourite. I think she was amazing. Um, to be the poster girl from the games, leading up to uh, the games and all the pressure that she had to endure and still deliver. And still deliver. I think that was immense. Um, Mo Farah was my jump off the seat moment. You know, my mum was kind of said she watched the TV and all she could see was my big bottom jumping up and down on the stage. Um, but it was like that. There were so many fantastic performances. Um, Catherine Granger in the rowing. People that I've, I've competed with, I've been on teams with, I've seen growing up doing so well. Um, so it was the summer of my life. I mean, we know naturally the Olympic gold medal for me was one of the highlights. But I have to say, the summer was right up there as well. Fantastic. And, and as well as being on our TV screen, Denise has been very busy with the Cathlon over the summer, promoting family participation in sport. So let's just quickly recap and show you what Denise has been doing out and about across the UK over the past few months.